it's a Mino Project special report. A public concert this evening honored the music man of St. Norbert College. Dudley Birder has been a part of the school's music faculty for more than 50 years. Earlier today, a campus building was named in his honor. And tonight, John Mino introduces us to the man behind the music in a story you'll see only on NBC 26. Since 1958, Dudley Birder has been a fixture at St. Norbert College. When it comes to leading musical production, nobody has done it longer or with more flair. It was an honor to sit down with this local musical legend and find out what exactly fuels this unique passion. At 85, when most would be content to simply sit back and enjoy the music, Dudley Birder is still on a quest to find that perfect note. You know, I saw in an interview, I think on your 80th birthday, you said there's never morning that you wake up that you're not excited about going to work. You still feel that way? I still feel that way, and I don't, I really don't have to go to work. If I don't go to work, it won't get done, but <laughs> nobody tells me I have to go. I'm doing the things that I, that I like. I'm very blessed because my hobby is my profession. A former star athlete, this maestro is still competing. If I was young and I could play basketball every day of the, my life, I, that would keep me going. So this is my basketball f in an older stage. A man whose passion for music has been passed through the ages. He's got the kind of teaching talent where every time you're in a rehearsal it feels like a master class. So I'm always learning things even though I've been with him for over 20 years. Whether a classroom on campus or on the grandest stage of them all, it's all about the performance, not the platform. So this is you at Carnegie Hall. Yeah, I've been there about seven times. And I've taken my choir there twice. And it's no big deal, but it's, it's fun. And so I, I go out. It's I no big for deal. It's Carnegie Hall. Oh, yeah. I, I, I <laughs> other, got, other than it's Carnegie Hall. How do you Hall. get to Carnegie Hall? You right. practice, practice, practice. Exactly. Speaking of practice, it might be his favorite part of the job. Well, I love practice. I love rehearsals. Yeah, I, I just I could rehearse every night. Uh, rehearsals are great because uh, you can see the improvement. You can't see the improvement during a concert, really, because it's all it's either yeah, that's what you got. Tonight, a special night for St. Norbert's Music Man: the dedication of the newly converted Birder Center. And two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we had our first rehearsal there, and it's like going to heaven. It's acoustically, it's wonderful, it's beautiful. Perhaps the only problem with the new locale? The homage being bestowed on the man it's named after. Well, I'm a little embarrassed about it. You know, I, I'm getting a lot of attention. Uh, and I'm really getting the attention because I'm 85 years old and I'm still working. I don't know. I think hundreds, if not thousands, who have watched his performances or performed under his direction would strongly disagree with him. Mino, NBC 26. He is so humble, isn't he? Mino is always looking for interesting story ideas. It's why we created the Mino Project. Have a great story you think Mino should tackle? Just email your idea to minoproject at NBC26.com.